Curtis, right here. Uh, congratulations on the victory. Um, I guess what are the emotions, you know, picking up a, a pretty violent K TKO win like that? Happy to make some money. Uh, talk to me about that first round because I obviously, you know, you said he hadn't, he's never faced a guy that can sprawl like that. And then I think people were a little surprised. You know, I think he got like seven or eight takedowns in that first round. So what's going on in your mind when, uh, in, in the, in that opening round? He did a really good job of being sticky. But the thing with that is you expend a lot of energy. I could hear him breathing heavily in my ear after that, um, after the first round ended. He kept sweeping my feet, but I was all right with that because he wasn't going to advance. He tried to go for my my neck at the end. wasn't the slickest attempt. I was ready for it, and uh, yeah, it wasn't any. It's not rocket science. He's going to shoot. I got to sprawl. Were you surprised that he wasn't being a little more active and looking for submissions, or was it something that you were not letting him get into place like that? I got a big neck. Yeah, it's hard. You got to get position before you get the submission. I didn't let him get position. And then coming out of that into the second round, he's struck with you a little bit before shooting. Were you expecting that at all? Because even in his corner, in the, they were like, you know, you got to do something with these takedowns. I, we knew my coach said he's going to get very uncomfortable. He got uncomfortable. He shot a very telegraphed shot. That's why I was able to sprawl. His very first shot in the first round was smoother because he wasn't frustrated. In the second round, you could see it. It wasn't as... He didn't, he didn't have no smoke, and I was able to, to see it, sprawl, brawl, like I said, not rocket science. And those punches that put him out, it looked like you were landing them for a while until he did go out. Were you surprised that he wasn't, like, you know, kind of moving his head at all? I was, uh, yeah, I was ready for him to let go, but he was very um, committed. He knew it was very hard to take me down and hold me down, so he knew once he got a hold of my leg, it was going to be hard to reshoot, so he just hung on. I was surprised he didn't like attempt to move, but I'm not mad at it. So, yeah. and obviously you called for the the Tom Aspinall fight. You said you have unfinished business, even though you are one and zero. Is uh, I assume you like, for the interim title, would you go back over to the UK for that fight? Yeah, London was dope. Uh, I'm down to go back. Appreciate you. Uh, was there a song that was more hype than the Mortal Kombat theme? Like, uh, is there a song that's more hype than that? I've been using that since I was an Emmy, so 15 years now. I won't ever use anything else. It's, it's what gets me going. And uh, who uh, helped you in the training room, you know, to prepare for a guy like Jilton? Who did you bring in for this training camp? My homie right there, Zach. Put your hand up, Zach. <laughs> that's my... He he took me down a lot, and uh, we worked on a lot of get ups, a lot of sweeps, a lot of defending it. What you saw tonight, I did that to him a, a few times. The hammer fist, just not as hard because I love my my teammates. Uh, how do you plan on celebrating? A beer. As soon as we get out of here. Awesome. I don't want to keep you. you from that, but. Uh... If the Aspinall fight doesn't work out, if he chooses to do something crazy, maybe waits for the winner. I mean, is there anything else that makes sense to you? <laughs> nope. It won't be. I feel like you guys are all trying to edge me towards gone. That's not happening. I asked for him already in the past. That's He missed that bus. So if it's not Aspinall, we'll, have, we'll figure it out. I'm not going to make no concrete decisions right now because I don't know what's going on. I haven't even looked at my phone all day. But if it's not Aspinall, we'll go from there. It ain't going to be gone, though. That's the no. Kind of going off of that, uh, Curtis, from the front right here, um, just to follow up on that. Like, Tom called for Cyril, too, after he – I can't remember at one point. But then Cyril's like, you know, no, I want the title shot. <laughs> yeah. You reap what you sow. Right. I'm going to leave it at that.